guys, Songo here with another Warframe video. Yes, you guys probably did not want to see another one, but it's been two or three days and I'm still playing this. Still rather obsessively, I cannot stop thinking about it. I, and yeah, not even when I sleep. Jesus Christ. So. The one complaint that I saw most people uh, ask, talking about, uh, and this complaint is actually from experienced players, I guess, uh, is that the game does not explain mods to you. So, I will explain them. Since I just leveled up my new laser whip, and I need to... Uh, place mods in it anyway. So, uh, let's start from the beginning. You're up here. You walk down, and to your left is the mods thing. Here it will list all of your mods you've collected. I want specifically my whip right now, so I'm filtering it to just melee. Here would be all. But I don't need that right now. So, what do we do here? Well, up here there are, there's fusion, transmute, and cell. Fusion empowers uh, one mod by sacrificing other mods, including um, Fusion cores, er, excuse me, which are uh, literally just there so that you can use them for fusion. So let's see. I want to level up this pressure point, so I hit fusion, and let's actually try a couple of things out and look at this XP bar. Currently it's at rank 3 and next will be rank 4, kind of obviously. But if you look at the XP bar, I'll add just one of these uh, smite grenades to that and it went up about a fifth of the way. Let's add a lower level pressure point, though. Hmm. Okay, okay, normally there's a XP bonus when you had... Huh. Okay, well, it seems... These are both pressure points. Well, I just ruined all of my credibility in talking about this, but anyway, so, uh, I don't need these lower level, well, I kind of do for leveling up new weapons, so I'll select two of these since those are repeats and just slot them into there. I don't need smite grenades because they are pretty inefficient. So I'm putting them in there, and I'm going to the cores now because I don't want to sacrifice anything else, necessarily. And there are... Reds are common, blue, blue is uncommon, and yellow is rare. I do not know why these are not stacked. They seem to be... Anyway... I guess... No, I've got no idea. Okay, well... They're just here to provide uh, fodder for the, fish the fusion. And, as you probably saw there, these fusion... Co these red ones don't provide much. But that's quite a significant amount more went with the rare ones and the few 
the or uncommon and the rare ones will provide nearly a rank or half a rank on their own even at rank 4 so and now it's a max level pressure point which will be providing me 120% melee damage but it's it'll cost 9 points to use We'll talk about that in a moment. Oh yes, and it also costs... Wait, what? Why did it not take me out of the screen? Okay, Warframe's acting weird again. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah. So, now that we've talked about... Uh, crafting your mods, which you're gonna have to get initially from just drops on the, during the levels you play, if you saw my first video. We will talk about uh, slotting the uh, upgrades into your weapon. So, you'll see here that there are empty squares or rectangle-ish things. This is where you slot, you put your uh, mods in. All of these are untyped, so, okay, so let's explain the, everything about the mod. So, hmm. Let's just take this pressure point, for example, up at the uh, top right corner is the is a number and then a symbol this number is how much capacity see up here it will cost to equip in a unpolarized slot see it's costing four and yeah Actually, let's get a different weapon for the case of this example. I don't think this has a polar. Nope. No polarization. Not in there as well. Oh, damn. Okay. Let's... There we go. Okay. You'll see here, piercing hit. It's uh, highlighted in green. And it says it's only costing four. I take it out, it's actually the real cost is 7. Why is that? It's because of the symbol here. This is the slot's polarization. If you equip something in, in with the same polarization as the slot, the uh, how do I say, the cost goes down by half, rounding up, because 0.5 is always round it up when rounding. Uh, okay. So, um, I think everything else is kind of self evident Okay, well, anyway, so, the big word is the name of the mod. The, uh, sentence, or couple of words. I don't, I don't know what to refer to it as. Um, is the actual effect. Plus 20% puncture damage. And this bottom thing, uh, border, uh, banner, yes. Just tells you how much conclave points those, uh, basically gear score it's worth and what type of what item it can be used on this uh, rifles rifle slot rifle mods are used for rifles obviously bows and sniper rifles so yeah meanwhile here you'll see that this says Warframe. 
because it requires the warframe slot. And this is a good time to show it. Oh, you. I'm unequipping that so I have points. If you put a wrong color, wrong polarization in a slot, it increases the cost highlighted in red by one quarter. No real reason to ever do that unless you're really desperate for slots. But I just don't see why you'd ever do that. So, uh, back to the Electra. And for melee weapons, there's this extra slot up here called the Stance. Or the... yes, Stance. This one specifically for the Whip. And unlike other mods, this actually increases your... I would say... Uh, mod capacity. You see? Four, seven. Also, notice that this has a polarization as well. So, this is doubling the amount of mod capacity I can have. I want to level this up as soon as possible because uh, it gives me more combos, as you can check here. At Fusion 1, I get Sparking Torture, which is just a different combo. And then I can slot in stuff here. And make everything really nice and stuff. So... I think that's all there is to modding. Hmm. Is there anything I've missed? Aside from being a horribly ugly color combination? Hmm. Just looking around? I don't think so. So... Have a good day. And have fun.